you know, it's always uncomfortable, you know, putting out 44,000 euros. That's very uncomfortable compared to, oh, let's go for the weekend. It's 200 bucks. Fred asked, is it better to buy an office or rent an office for startup business? In the long run, buying property is better than paying rent, but when you're starting a business, how do you justify, justify it to the investors? Well, I'm not an expert on, on investors um, or satisfying investors. I've, I've started every company with my own money, and the first company I started with my own sweat, so I don't really know about investors. And I think that if you have investors and you're, you're doing the nomad capitalist thing, it's always going to be more complicated because your investors are going to be like weirded out about your going offshore, even though it can benefit them potentially. It's like one more person to convince, and they just want to be your investor, and they're used to paying taxes, and it becomes kind of messy. So I'm not an expert on dealing with investors because I've never taken a dollar um, of investment money in my life. Um, it's just not an area that I'm familiar with. Let's talk about the question of buying versus renting, and I'll give you my perspective, um, which is fueled by the nomadic capitalist lifestyle, which is I love paying one-time expenses. So, for example, I spend um, 21 days, three weeks, up to maybe a month uh, in Belgrade every year uh, doing business, and I just enjoy spending some time in the city in the summer. So, you know, I could stay at the Metropole in Belgrade, which is actually a very nice hotel. They treat me very well. Um, depending on when I go, anywhere from 76 euros a night up to 150 euros a night. So, you know, over the course of a summer, it's not that expensive. I might pay, you know, several thousand dollars, five thousand dollars at the most. Um, what I decided I would rather do is go and buy basically a small hotel room apartment where I can pay once and basically pay myself back a yield by eliminating that expense. And so, you know, it's always uncomfortable, you know, putting out 44,000 euros. That's very uncomfortable compared to, oh, let's go for the weekend. It's 200 bucks. Um, but for me, I think one of the strategies that, you know, I found as a person who has no debt um, and as a person who likes to run a lean operation is if I can pay a bigger cost up front and then eliminate expenses ongoing, that's what I uh, want to do. What I've also found in things like renting offices, especially outside of uh, the United States and outside of the Western world is, you know, you may not want to deal with some of these landlords. You may not uh, want the restrictions that they impose. Um, you know, here in Mexico, I'm staying in an Airbnb for a month, living in, you know, experiencing different neighborhoods to figure out where I may want to buy. And uh, I can tell you, the person who owns this Airbnb does not seem to care too much that, you know, trucks whiz by my window and the building shakes a little bit. And, uh, you know, they haven't really taken any measures to, to prevent, you know, some of the, the soundproofing that could be done to make it more comfortable to live in. So, you know, from my perspective on, on a global level, uh, I want to be in control. Uh, I want to, eliminate, uh, want to eliminate ongoing expense. And I think that, you know, that's more possible uh, now that I don't pay 43% of my business income in tax. I've got a lot more money to reinvest in myself, which uh, part of what I, I've done with that money is, is invested into stuff to, to remove ongoing expenses so that, you know, theoretically my cost of running a business and my cost of living um, could be very, very low if it had to be, which I think is a very good position to be in. Hi, I'm Andrew Henderson from Nomad Capitalist. I wrote this book, which you can find on Amazon, to distill a lot of the stuff we talk about in these videos and a lot of the stuff I've learned over the last decade plus traveling all around the world, teaching you about how to legally reduce your taxes, build your personal freedom, and create wealth faster. Definitely get a copy of this book if you want to learn more. Now, if you want to watch more videos, make sure you subscribe to our channel and make sure you click the notifications bell so you never miss one of our new videos with more tips on how to go where you're treated best. And if you're already a six or seven figure entrepreneur and you'd like to put these strategies in place for yourself, go to nomadcapitalist.com and learn about how I can help you.